my name is uh, Melissa Gressel and I work at the Multiple Sclerosis Laboratory at the Howard Florey Institute um, under the supervision of Trevor Kilpatrick and Helmut Biscuven. So our project is to investigate um, a new type of blood test for monitoring nerve fibre damage in MS patients. So we've been working in collaboration with researchers at the University of Florida to develop a new blood test that can detect a protein that is released from damaged nerve cells into the blood. And we use this blood test to uh, measure levels of uh, damage that are occurring in the brain and spinal cord. To begin the research, um, the work was performed in a mouse model of MS. And in this mouse model, we were able to show that, in fact, we could detect this protein in the blood of these mice. And we're now working with support from MS Research Australia to move into human trials. Over the last 18 months, we've been able to um, apply our blood test in the clinic. And what we've actually found was that in a proportion of patients with relapsing and remitting MS, that blood levels of this protein were increased. And in these patients, what we actually found was that they had more rapidly progressing disability. So now what we're actually trying to do is to take these studies and extend on them to show that what we've developed is a blood test that can be used to predict disability in MS patients. And um, this work is being carried out um, at the moment in collaboration with researchers at Box Hill Hospital. Hopefully over three years we'll have a di diagnostic tool for MS. The protein that we're looking at is called neurofilament H and it's actually a part um, of the structure of the nerve cell. So it helps to form the skeleton of a nerve cell. And when these cells are damaged, um, this protein spills into the blood and we can detect the protein in blood to tell us how much damage has actually occurred. So what we now understand about MS is it's not just a disease that attacks, uh, where the immune system attacks the myelin coating, but rather um, during this immune attack, nerve fibres themselves can also be damaged. So there's sort of two aspects of the disease that are occurring at the same time. Uh, so it's very important not just to target the myelin, but also the underlying nerve fibres in order to sort of minimise the damage that's occurring. Well, over the last uh, 18 months, we've been able to recruit 85 patients with relapsing and meeting MS to the study, and also uh, about 136 healthy volunteers. So we've got a really nice sample base out at Box Hill for this study. The blood test that we have developed um, works by um, using antibodies that were produced in mice, and these antibodies recognise the protein that we're looking at in humans and so we perform this simple blood test um, to, to measure using these antibodies uh, how much of this protein is um, within the human samples. This blood test will be useful for um, identifying patients that are likely to have a more progressive disease course from uh, very early on in the disease so that we can target them more aggressively with uh, therapies. So what we hope to use this blood test for is actually monitoring patients and, and how well they're actually responding to therapies and whether they're likely to develop disabilities over time.